Hi, it's Nicole. This is a very short video to show you my trip to see the first folio. I went to Edinburgh in November this month, November 2023, and I visited the National Library of Scotland um, as my way to mark the 400th anniversary of the publication of Shakespeare's first folio. And here it is. I'm in Edinburgh. This is the National Library of Scotland. I'm here to see the first folio. The first folio of Shakespeare uh, was published in November 1623. So this is the 400th anniversary of the publication of first folio. So I'm here specifically to see it. Um, so on display is page 120 and 121 so this is the tragedy of julius caesar so it's on display until december this year so from december till march next year it will be the first page of Macbeth. I have been telling my friends about the excitement of seeing the first folio for the first time with my own eyes and then I soon realized not everyone knows what the first folio is so just in case you don't the first folio is a collection of plays by Shakespeare and the original title on the title page is Mr. William Shakespeare's Comedies, Histories and Tragedies. It was published in 1623, about seven years after Shakespeare's death. The first folio was prepared by Shakespeare's colleagues John Hemmings and Henry Condell. I think those two people are uh, undervalued and under celebrated if they hadn't put the plays together i think who knows maybe a lot of the plays would have been lost anthony's friends roman's countryman speech is on page 121 i'm going to read it out to you so you can listen to it while looking at the original text friends roman's countryman Lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft entered with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. And grievously has Caesar answered it. Here, and the leave of Brutus and the rest... For Brutus is an honourable man, so are they all, all honourable men. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. And Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honourable man. He hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honourable man. You all did Caesar under Lupercal. I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure he is an honourable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me, my heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till he come back to me. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.